um, a lot of nights crying, just praying he'd still fit in his bed when he got home, that he'd still be that size. Now on Fox 6, her child was missing for three months, but the search is finally over. Police found the little boy in Michigan, the lucky timing that barely avoided tragedy. We begin tonight with that Fox 6 exclusive. After an agonizing summer, a mother is reunited with her four-year-old son. You know the story. The Pleasant Prairie boy went missing in July, only to be found in Michigan earlier this week. Our Casey Cronus spoke with his mom and tonight introduces all of us to Azariah. Ted and Steph, Azariah Petrick went missing seemingly without a trace until one Michigan man spoke up, recognizing the little boy in these photos. Now the four year old is back with his mom and it's like they haven't missed a beat. We got shake a blender with a smile cooking. and an imagination that could fade away the fog. Yeah. Azariah Petrick is lighting up the world around him, putting a twinkle back into his mom's eye. It's amazing. I can hardly believe it. But Abigail Petrick says getting here wasn't easy. A lot of nights crying, just praying he'd still fit in his bed when he got home, that he'd still be that size. The four year old boy's parents share custody, and in July, when his father was scheduled to return him to his mom, he never showed. Pleasant Prairie police have been searching ever since. They say 30 year old Mark Anthony Petrick was trying to go off the grid. Every day's been an eternity. For three months, they vanished, but thanks to a good Samaritan, this story ends happily. The detective was the one who called me. Monday night, more than 350 miles away from home, just outside of Traverse City, a Michigan man recognized Azariah after seeing his missing poster on Facebook. I will be forever grateful to him. Azariah was found safely in a motorhome with his father who was arrested. I see you. Now, as the two adjust back to life as it was, Abigail is driving home the importance of taking notice when a child goes missing. This is what brought Azariah home, and it can do the same for a lot of other children out there. While this case did not warrant an Amber Alert because it wasn't believed that little boy's life was in imminent danger, police say that does not mean this situation is any less serious. Take a listen. Well, some people think that, hey, it's a, it's a custody deal, you know, that the child's not in danger. You never know what psychological harm is being brought in a situation like that. Azariah's father, Mark Anthony Petrick, is being held in Michigan, but will be extradited back to Kenosha County, where he is facing charges of interfering with custody beyond visitation. Reporting live in Brown Deer, Casey Cronus, Fox 6 News. So great to see both of them smiling tonight. Casey, thank you. It is a pea soup kind of night out there tonight.